brothers and sisters, this week we've been mobilizing the brethren to pray. We've shared with you a number of scriptures where the Lord invites us to pray. You know, he said, call upon me and I'll answer you and show you greater many things which you didn't know of. In several scriptures, the Lord has told us men ought always to pray, not to faint. Luke 18, 1, he told us, pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5, 17. But brothers and sisters, the reality is all over the world, believers are not achieving answers to prayer at the rate they ought to. The delegated and residual authority that God's people are, we've been given the privilege of the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the power of the blood, we've been asked to decree a thing, it shall be established. If we are honest to ourselves, Christians are nowhere near the promises of scripture concerning answers to prayer concerning the things the Lord has ordained to do for his people. So what could be the issue? What could be the barrier? What could be the hindrance? What could it be that is hindering God's people from achieving breakthrough in prayer? Let me share three scriptures that will help us today. Father, by your spirit, help us to apprehend your mind on this matter. In Yeshua Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, Isaiah, 51 say, Isaiah 59 verse 1 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Neither is he heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. This is awesome. God says sin will always prevent our prayers from going across the first and second heavens. Sin will always hinder our prayer from ascending to where the Most High is. Sin, the Lord is saying in effect, take care of sin and I'll take care of your prayers. And it's not that even we will solve the sin issue ourselves. The Lord say, if you want to pray, start number one, start with the issue of sin. Clear your life of sin. Talk to the Lord about yourself. And where you are not in any, you are not sure what it is or the specifics, you can ask Holy Spirit to come in like David did. Psalm 139, verse 23, 24. Search me, O God, and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Brothers and sisters, we're going to fast and pray from tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, but the Lord wants to reveal to us today, listen, there are things we can make the focus of our prayer. First, first, pray. Ask the Lord to locate anything in us that is not of Him and chuck it out. Let's reject sin. Let's refuse sin. Sins of thought, sins of word, sins of emotion, sins of actions, sins of reactions. Men and brethren, it is important. If you want the hand of the Lord to move mightily on your behalf, on my behalf, the Lord said, take care of the sin issue. I'll take care of the answers to your prayer. It's a deal. So let's start tomorrow with clearing the way. Let's take tomorrow to be the day of purging, of purification, the day of sanctification. Let's ask the Lord to do a deep inward work in us. First Thessalonians 5, you know, verse 23, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. He who will say he doesn't need God's hand upon his life, it has nothing to take care of, is probably insincere. There must be something somewhere. We are not talking for, we are not doing it for other people, for ourselves, our relationship with the Father. And that leads me to the second scripture, Mark 11. One of the most powerful scriptures ever uttered by Yeshua himself is Mark 11. He was talking about the capacity of the believer as a delegated and as a residual authority to move mountains. Look at what he said in Mark 11, 22. Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. Faith is critical. But then he says something in verse 23. For very life son to you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, they shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He have whatsoever he said 
Many people don't know that doubt is a sin. Doubt is, you know, placing God below where he is. Doubt is sin. And he said, if you will speak to any mountain and command it to be moved without doubting, it shall be done for you. But this is where it gets interesting. The Lord now comes to say in verse 24, Therefore I say unto you, that what things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, you shall have them. How many believers summon this level of faith to pray and believe? That's why we say to you, believe what you pray and pray what you believe if you are in doubt don't pray clear that doubt first but the most important part of this scripture is in verse 25 and 26 and when you start praying you want to move mountains you want to command that mountain to move from zimbabwe to the indian ocean from south africa to the atlantic ocean from texas to the Atlantic Ocean, you want to command that storm, that hurricane to stop. Look at what it says when you stand praying, forgive, forgive, forgive if you have ought against any spouse, parents, children, friends, brethren in church. If you have ought, even the tiniest issue with any brother, any malice, any unforgiveness, if you have it, you say, forgive. That your father also which is in heaven may forgive your trespasses. He said, if you don't forgive, you are simply blocking heaven from hearing you. And the father will not forgive your own. In other words, you are preaching outside the covenant. Then he said, verse 26, but if you do not forgive, neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. So, you want to move mountains, start with moving the mountains in the heart. The mountains of unforgiveness. The mountains of art, the mountains of malice, the mountains of offense. Move them, forgive, release people, and release yourself in the process. If you don't release people, you are trapped. Unforgiveness is like a prison, high capacity prison, high security prison, that somebody has a special lock and you put yourself in, lock the lock, and you are still inside. He said, if you don't forgive, you will not get any answers to prayer. So I want to say this to you. Much as we are being called to fast and pray tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, let's start with dislodging every unforgiveness, every ought in our heart, in our mind, for our own sake, that we may be able to reach out to heaven. We may be able to have heaven back up our prayers. And that's why we take the third one. Hebrews 12 verse 14 Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord If you don't follow peace with all men and you don't follow holiness you say there's no seeing of the Lord No way! Christians are praying I tell you, Christians are praying 5 hours at a stretch 6 hours at a stretch 4 hours at a stretch Christians are praying and fasting unfortunately with hearts congested with art, unforgiveness. He said, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby may be defiled. He said, look diligently because any time you refuse to forgive, and then you refuse to forgive, refuse to forgive, there comes up a stronghold inside that will hinder the Christian from ever being able to see God in prayer, being able to come to the presence of the Lord. Elohim, our Father, is a holy Father. Our Father is holy. He says, be holy. And holiness includes and is incorporating forgiveness. Forgiveness. Stop using psychologist therapies. When it comes to forgiveness, forgive. Forgive. It doesn't matter. The person deliberately did it or not. Forgive. Learn to forgive forward. First Peter 4 8. He says we should forgive forward. Brothers and sisters, there we come. This weekend is going to be a weekend of glory. And the Lord is saying, start with releasing that person who hurt you 15 years ago. Forgive. 
That person hurt you 20 years ago. The father is saying, are you not seeing what I have done for you in all this period of time in spite of that person? Why would you still hold bitterness because of something somebody said or did? Men and brethren, let go. Let go. Let go. I said to you, this weekend, prayer, fasting, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be awesome. The Lord wants to bring us to a place where we, his mighty hand shall come on, on our behalf to fight our battles, to be able to do things for us. He said, stop hindering me. Stop hindering me with your unforgiveness. Stop hindering me with your offenses. Stop hindering me with those things that are congesting your heart. Nobody knows, but I know. I know. I know. Christians are celebrating micro miracles. Praise God for that. Yes, every miracle is a miracle. But listen, there's a level of authority God has ordained for his saints to walk in the end time. That... You don't need a prophet to visit town. A, a young child can, when in a child of play, somebody falls down due to epilepsy, a young Christian child that knows his God, her God, can go there and rebuke the spirit of epilepsy and command it to leave right now. And before 2,000 people in that football field, that child will rise up. Revival will break forth in that primary school, in that secondary school. The Lord says, children of God, begin to operate in that level I have bought for you by the blood that was shed at the cross of Calvary. The name of the Lord is still a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. There is authority in the name of Yeshua. At that name, every knee shall bow and there is power in the blood. It's time to overthrow the works of darkness with the blood of the Lamb. But the Lord says, hey, before you can do that, forgive, let go. All these inward sins that are there inside will hinder the mountains one move. Move the inside mountains and the Lord says the outside ones will be a piece of cake. Brothers and sisters, this is a season of prayer. And somebody saying, shall we meet together? Yes. First and foremost, pray alone. Sort out things with the Lord alone. Then... Friday evening, Saturday evening, Sunday evening, we're going to have some Zoom prayer. How will we do it? Brothers and sisters in the Asia, Middle East and Pacific Island, those nations of Asia and the Middle East and Australia and Fiji Island, they will meet Friday at 6 o'clock, as a matter of fact, 5, 5 o'clock UK time, because of where they are, they will meet 5 they they move from their classroom. They move in to pray five to seven, two hours. Pray. Everybody on the platform will be encouraged to pray. That's how we do when we do things. Everybody prays, not just leaders. Then those in East Africa and Southern Africa will pray from seven p.m. UK time, which is eight p.m. South Africa time, nine p.m. Uh, East Africa time. From 7 p.m., they will pray for two hours. That gets to 9 o'clock, UK time. Then those in UK will pray 9 to 11. 9 to 11, UK, Europe will pray 9 to 11. And West Africa will pray. And then those in America and the Caribbean Basin and Falkland Island will pray from 11 p.m. UK time. They'll pray. Whether it's good, they're going to pray one hour or two, praise the Lord for that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You ask, hey, what is the Zoom thing? Listen, Pastor Patricia Chidapa will have the Zoom time. Give it to those in Zimbabwe area. Uh, uh, Prophetess Virgin and Tuli will have that. You know, a gift to those in South Africa region. Apostle Walter and Pastor JC, you know, in uh, Kenya will give to those in East Africa. Pastor Sima and Apostle Jacob Sima, Apostle Jacob Chaco, give to those in Asia, Middle East, and Pacific, and then Teacher Stephanie and Minister Ann Watson, we give to those in the United States of America, and uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet Christian Codner, we give to those in the Caribbean Basin, and uh, Pastor Emilia, we give to those in the Falkland Island. This is a simple plan. It will be waves of prayer, waves of prayer from this to that, to that, and by the grace of the Lord, you will see God do things. Make it a time. Take the mirror of the word. Check up ourselves. Let's settle things by the Spirit. Let's release. Let's release. Oh, if somebody has to deserve it before you forgive, it's no longer forgiveness. 
forgiveness is when you let go. Somebody did something, he doesn't deserve forgiveness, yet you forgive. Listen for your own sake. Brothers and sisters, let's decongest our hearts, our minds. It's time to deal with, pull down those strongholds in the mind, those damaged emotions, those things that have been hindering us from seeing the Lord, those things in the memory, those hurtful memories. Hey, this is a time for the Lord to do exploits. Brothers and sisters, we will pray this weekend. We will pray across the world. I urge you, take your place, pray, but begin to prepare yourself. Take away the things that will hinder the Lord from hearing you. See you tomorrow. The Lord bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching and we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook Monday all the way to Sunday every day by about 10.30 a.m. UK time and that's the same at Nigerian time and you, it's either Apostle George Monday to Friday uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace uh, Friday to Sunday and then in the evening of Sunday we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6 after 6 another one up to 7 so please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it we also visit our website www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks this course you just listened to all these lessons you know there's an ebook we have free of charge everything we do is free but more importantly you can actually do your program on you know ebooks you can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be, do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels this youtube gsom.tv and we also have a telegram channel gsom media you can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com we love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of yeshua jesus is empowered with truth remember it is the teach train equip activate and release paradigm absolutely free of charge have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon